Hey guys, Billy Penn here, 300 Guitars TV, and today we're going to take a look inside my 5F6A 4x10 basement clone that I built a couple years ago. It's basically a stock build with a couple little tweaks, and uh, we'll take a look inside, show you around. All right, let's start over here. Show you the circuitry. Back panel is off, so you can see inside. It's basically a stock build. Even the bias circuit is stock. The few different sets of tubes that I use with this amp just set biased up perfectly everything worked out fine so I didn't even bother putting an adjustable bias in kept it really simple starting over here the first gain stage cathode bypass uh, cap and resistor uh, I really just used the stock value of 250 microfarads uh, it doesn't sound too bottomy or woofy so I just left it I have experimented in the past on other amps with uh, like a 25 microfarad value and I don't really hear too much of a difference uh, especially playing a Tele or a Strat maybe you'll hear a little bit more with a guitar with humbuckers you know like a Les Paul or an SG or something but um, 250 microfarad worked out fine for me one thing I did do different is on the normal channel uh, the stock value for the first gain stage coupling cap is 0.022 as well as for the bright channel but on the bright channel I used a point zero zero two and yes it is really bright some of you guys are probably like cringing right now going oh my god that's got to be so bright and it is it's very bright uh, with a tele or a strat or anything with single coils but if you use uh, anything with humbuckers like I have my tele gib with uh, Lawler Imperials in it and I have a Greco uh, ES175 type with uh, Lawler Imperials as well and my Gretsch Hot Rod with the um, TV Jones um, classic you know filter tron type pickups it sounds really clear and I'm used to that personally you know playing tellies mostly it's very very clear so that channel is only used for like arch top and humbucker guitars whereas the normal channel I use for my single uh, single coil pickup guitars over here is the tone stack a lot of guys talk about the tone stack like on forums and stuff and I get some emails from people saying you know what's a tone stack where is it what does it do Basically, the tone stack is a network of a few capacitors and a resistor, and obviously the pots, the treble, middle, and bass pots, and it's a 0 .022, 0 .022, and a 250 picofarad um, treble cap. And if you can see down here, there's the slope resistor, which separates the the uh, the bass cap and the like the middle cap from the treble cap. Okay, and that is right here. You can see it. It's 100K. Uh, some basements used 56K. I happen to like the 100K because, again, the amp's a little clearer, especially using uh, arch tops. And over here you have uh, eight, mic eight microfarad um, filter cap. And this here is the phase inverter section. You can take a look up here and see some of the pots and the jacks. There's that bias circuit again. Like I said, I didn't even put an adjustable one in. It just seemed to bias up fine, and I wasn't in the mood to do any more work than I had to, especially on my own amp. Move over here. I like to use 1K um, resistors on the uh, screen grids and use the uh, cement wire wound ones. If I decide to use 5881s, it seems to protect them a little bit better. Mercury Magnetics power transformer. Mercury Magnetics transformers throughout, they sound really, really good. Basically just, uh, you know, CTS pots, switchcraft jacks. Nothing too fancy. Carbon comp resistor, yes, they're a little noisy, but I do like the sound better. And yes, to my ear, there is a difference in sound, um, especially on the plate load resistors. Um, it's a big debate on some forums, and some people just talk about, oh, they don't sound any different. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. You have to decide. 12AX7, Softec, LPS. I really like these. They have large plates. Yes, they are a little bit microphonic, but when you find good ones, they sound really good, especially for the first gain stage, you know, V1 spot. pair of groove tubes, 6L6. 
Made in USA. I believe that they are GEs, but I may be wrong. Maybe they're, uh, I think they're Phillips actually, not GEs. And I happen to like the 5V4 for the rectifier versus the GZ34. Uh, the amp compresses a little bit more, uh, has a little more sag, a little bit more dynamics, works great with my tellies, and it's not quite as loud and as um, fast as the GZ34. Um, I, you know, sometimes these amps can get a little bit loud on the gigs, so uh, the 5V4, you know, kind of tones it down a little bit. And I have Weber 10A125s, quartet of those. God bless Ted Weber. I love his speakers. They're very, very good. I'm dying to try. Um, Eminence has a really cool um, Almaco speaker that I'm dying to try. I believe it's 102K... S8, I believe. I think that's the number. It's basically an Almaco 10-inch speaker that I'm dying to try. If any of you guys have tried those, please uh, shoot me an email and, and let me know what you think. And that's basically it. That's the 5F6A basement build that I did. And that's it. hope you guys had a good time on the tour of my amp, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.